You've been in a lot of big fights, and one that might happen is one with Floyd Mayweather. You've been to so many big. How big is that fight when you kind of put it in, in, into scope? How big would that fight be? It, it, it'd be the biggest. I mean, you know, it, it, we've had moments in boxing history that were just, you know, events like that were earth shattering. Um, the first Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier fight. Um, Muhammad Ali uh, uh, with the rumble in the jungle when he uh, defeated George Foreman and Zaire and once again became heavyweight champion. Um, the, uh, I guess it's like 30 some years ago when Duran and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard fought each other twice. Super fights, mega fights. Um, Marvelous Marvin Hagler and Thomas Hearns. You know, a three round fight that a lot of people consider the greatest, the greatest three rounds in boxing history. So we've had these great moments, and this would be right up there, and we'd have to see how, what happens after the fight if we still say the same thing, but it, it would have to be considered, you know, one of those great moments in boxing history. Do you think it happens, Michael, and, and, and who wins in your opinion? I think the fans win, how's that? <laughs> and last question, just uh, what do you want to tell the fans? Everybody's seen you, you've come in their living rooms, you know, for many years, what do you want to tell the fans? Uh, you know, what I can tell the fans is I just want to, you know, be thankful that I, I've been in the position that I am and that it's just been a great ride for me for uh, well over three decades now and I'm 70 years old so it's only going to be a few more years. I'm going to sit back and, and just, you know, watch fights uh, from my armchair. But, uh, uh, I love the fans and I thank them for all their support through the years. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate the interview. Okay, thanks a lot.